Hello and welcome to Suncorp Stadium in the heart of Brisbane, the home of Queensland Rugby League. As the Brisbane Broncos will take on the Auckland Warriors tonight in a blockbuster clash, one that decides the fate, the season seven fate of both sides. As whoever wins tonight will go to the finals and whoever loses will miss out. The Auckland Warriors searching for their first finals since season four. The Brisbane Broncos searching for a swan song to send off their captain, Joey Kelly. I'm your commissioner, Will Kay. And I am here tonight in what is shaping up to be one of the greatest rugby league matches of the modern day. And we may have an instant classic on our hands if all goes according to plan. During the week, the Warriors Making some changes to their side. Hoping it's enough to take them into the top eight or keep them in the top eight. And be successful in their finals endeavours. It's Patrick Corcoran. The second hit up there. There'll be a lot of feelings out in the field tonight. That's going to be John McCartney. This classic match. Now it's always a good one. Always a, always a good clash between these two sides. A bit of a grudge match at times when Jack Carl was playing at the Broncos as Chance Bunce gets involved early. That's the fourth. He brings them over to the 40. They go left now. It's going to go to McCartney. He'll straighten up and run it. Brought down there by Isaac Edwards and Felix Stoder. Fifth and last. Spreading it out to the left. It's going to be Corcoran putting the kick across the field. Barrels down towards plays. He's going to get a kick return. He'll step one. He can't get around Bunce though. And how lucky it is to have him out the back for the Warriors. Last couple of times these teams have played each other. It has been the Broncos with the winning streak. Last season 24 to 12, the season before that 36 to 18. But prior to that, there was a lot of a lot of Auckland wins. That's an early error from the Broncos there. The Warriors are going to be invited into this end as Aaron White takes the first run. And how good has he been this season in the centres? A great pairing with Cooper Gronk out on the right side. As now it's Patrick Corcoran through the, through the middle. Going to go left. McCartney goes to Tiawa. And a fun little fact for everyone. The Auckland Warriors have never won a game against Brisbane at Suncorp. So they're looking to do their, the first of their kind win tonight. As it's going to be Patrick Corcoran into touch. Great tackle from plays. And they will have a turnover. Just toying with the sideline there. And he, he pays the consequences, Patrick Corcoran. Simon Hunt making the hit up straight at Logan Strange. Raymond goes to Allison. That's a half break. He's brought down, though. Going to Felix Stoder now. Driving forward. A lot of great talent on the field tonight. That's going to be Kyriakis Ilias. Good push from here. Ash Crutcher finding himself back on the bench in recent weeks. As now it's going to be Simon Hunt through the wing, through the middle. Sorry, playing at lock once more. And how good has he been in that position before? It's a natural spot for him on the field. As he'll play the ball, Raymond puts it down to Jackson. Puts a cross fielder in. Good stuff from the young halfback. As he'll kick it. Cooper Gronk steps one. And Cyrus Marks is left in the dust. Felix Stoda cleans up. A very solid second row of this season. Allison brings down Tiawa. Going to Strange. Straight through the line. Logan Strange inside flick to Jaden White. They lose about eight metres there after the offload. As Bunce goes left. Snow. McKinnon steps one inside. Straight at Kyriakis Ilias. As Corcoran's through the line now. He's got a bit of pace. Kelly's catching up. It'll be the fifth and last. 15 out. The Warriors with a great opportunity, which looks to have come from nowhere. They're going to go left. It's going to be Snow. Links up with McCartney. Puts it up out to the left. As McKinnon's going to take it. They'll go thief in the night. And Lachlan McKinnon has the first here at Suncorp Stadium. I would have bet for all money plays was going to take that. But McKinnon just... 
Took it from under him. No jump required. And the Broncos are on the board for their first of the night. That is an incredible try from Lachlan McKinnon. And McCartney putting that one straight over the black dot. 6-0 is the score. 7 in here. As the Warriors take an early lead. And Lachlan McKinnon, he's been so good this season at centre. And he'll be... Exciting to watch in seasons to come. It's interesting to see how he got that. Try. He just absolutely stole it from Justin Place. As the Raymond kicks it long. Goes down to McCartney. Throws it wide to Strange, and he'll push forward for the first one here. That will be the first. Going left. Snow now goes to my cousin. He's in the starting side tonight at second row. In place of David Barner, who's been. On the put on the bench this week as an error it looks like no it's gonna be off the head of Engo and they got lucky there the Warriors even the Broncos thought it was an error and they just let it go but no referee says play on it was off the head David Tiawa pushing forward that's the fourth McCartney will he go for a kick no he'll go for a run of course McCartney starting his career as a lock he's a unique breed I think he's a big hitter half so he's a Formidable opponent. That's going to be Dylan Sharp off the left foot. Can't get away from Bunce though. Good way to start their set, the Broncos. As off the head of Allison, it goes back. He's going to have to play it. As he runs it straight at David Tiawa. Going left, Stoda off the head of Cyrus Marks. It's going to be play on here, Cyrus. Goes inside to Stoda. Stoda's away. Stoda's got a bit of space ahead of him, but he'll be brought down by Hunt. No, by White, sorry. As Stoda plays the ball, they go right. Jackson, now to Daly. Justice Daly pushing. Justice Daly driving. I think he's gotten the ball down here. And I think Justice Daly may have scored the first for the Brisbane Broncos tonight. Well, that ball looks down to me. And what that is some strength from Justice Daly. Uh, it's going to be the green lights here at Suncorp Stadium. And it was all off that Falcon. They went straight at Cyrus Marks' head. It just projected a 40, picked up, put it back on the inside for Felix Stoda. And if Stoda scores that, I think that's got to be try of the year. May even beat the Cooper Gronk. Crossfield kick and run dry. Levi Raymond puts it over, and 6 all is the score here. Wow, what an exciting start to the game. Both teams on the board early. And some terrific try scoring manners. And, you know, both sides, they just know how to score it. a really good and exciting try. They know how to amp up a crowd. And that's why they're, you know, that's why they're competing for this top eight. And then just at the start of the round, I think it was the Warriors in... Eighth from the Brisbane Broncos at seventh from memory. Two hands away. No. Both very similar points for and a try separating them. This is Dylan Sharp. Gets an offload back to Stoda. No. That was risky there. They're gonna go right. It's gonna be Dylan Sharp. Goes right again. Allison. No. He brought down. That's the fourth. That's uh, Ilias. Driven back, fifth and last now. He'll go out left to Isaac Edwards, puts a long kick in. Just spinning towards Cooper Gronk. He's going to step one, Cooper Gronk. And he'll be brought down just outside his own 20. I think that's Isaac Edwards, yes, in the whitehead gear tonight. It's Allison. Michael and Tiawa there. Engo's going to get his space now. A great run from Daniel Engo. Dubbed as the best defensive player for the Warriors. I have to agree, he does a whole lot of tackling and some quality ones at that. As Chance Bunce breaks the tackle, gets the ball back inside to Daniel Engo. He broke the line, then he broke the tackle. 
He's going to break some hearts maybe later on. As now it's going to be Hugh Snow picking up the scraps after Jaeger was hit off the ball. Mancuzzi looking filthy at the referee as fifth and last now. The Warriors go to Corker and it's a charge down. Bunce is going to step one. Bunce is going to push for the line, but it's going to be zero tackle. The Warriors will have a hole set on the line now. Going left, strange. Hit off the ball and Jackson picks it up. Jai McCartney is blowing up at Viggo Rasmussen. He is having... <laughs> He is having some words with him from the line. But he is having none of it, Vigo. As the Broncos somehow get away with that as they go left. Allison drives forward, breaks the tackle. Big tackle missed as Chance Bunce has to do the heavy lifting there. David Tiawa bringing him down in the 40. Going right now. Jackson to Kelly. Steps one. Mike Cuzzy bringing him down. That's the fourth. Just crossing the halfway line now as they go right. It's going to be Dale looked forward out of the hands, but referee says play on. Our key. Going for the running in. McKinnon tackling well. It's fifth and last. Going left. Hunt. Puts it all the way down to Chance Bunce down the middle. He's on the full here. He's looking electric. Chance Bunce is away now. Joey Kelly's coming across. Does he have the speed on him? The Silver Fox is away. Who's in front of him? Tiala's on his right now. It's just going to be White. And he'll be brought down about 13 out from the try line. That's the first for the Warriors. And a great run from Chance Bunce, who's been getting electric and energetic tonight. That's the second. Fiawa taking the run. Now it's going to be Corcoran. Pushing for it and brought down. They're looking. Maybe they can just do a crash play here. Will it be Yegor? No, it will not be. As that's going to be the fourth. Another set here for the Warriors on the line. They go right. It's going to be Snow. Hit back. Chance Bunce. Steps one. Chance Bunce for the line. Chance Bunce for the line. But he held on and flipped on his back. Referee Tony Archer having another look at this one. And you'd have to respect that with what's on the line. If, if Bunce gets that ball down and you miss it, you know, it puts the game in disrepute. But now it's going to be the fifth and last. He did not get the ball down. They'll get one chance here. On the last tackle to put points on the board. It's been a tap back. It's going to be Hugh Snow. He won't get an offload though. And a great tackle from Daly saves the Broncos there. A great defensive effort as Lachlan McKinnon tapping it back. Hugh Snow, I thought he'd get that pass out to Chance Bunce, but he couldn't get his hands free with the bear hug tackle from Justice Daly. And the Broncos, they've pretty much held on for three Full sets on their line. They have to be tired. As they'll just slowly make their way downfield. Edwards going down to Sharp out on the wing. It looked like he was going to get a bit of space there, but Gronk brings him down quickly. Now they go to Felix Stoder. Fifth and last, the referee's arm raises in the air. They go right. Raymond puts it to Edwards. Puts a deep kick in. It's going to be Gronk this time with the kick return. Cooper Gronk, he'll step one, but he won't get very far. The subs come on for the Warriors. Oh, as David Barner almost makes a dog's breakfast of that. It's Nico Bro and David Barner on for the Warriors. Now it's going to be an intercept for Yosef Jackson. Bunce was ready for the ball, but... Joseph Jackson just picked it off the halfback as now they go right. Arki gives it to Kelly. Spreads it out to players on the wing. Players one on one with Bunce now. And he will be tackled. Hugh Snow comes across. Helped by McKinnon around the legs. That's the second. They're going to go left. A big hit off the ball. Oh, that was a bit of payback, wasn't it? But Lawrence is going to push over. Aiden Lawrence has scored. And a bit of karma here for the Broncos. Or for the Warriors. As they hit a Broncos player off the ball. And Corcoran unable to handle big Aiden Lawrence. As the green lights, and they will take the lead here at Suncorp. And this fan, these fans, this stadium has just erupted after that try. They love Aiden Lawrence here. A great rookie. And a very solid forward. You'd have to say he'd be on bigger minutes next season. If he chooses to stay at the Warriors. At the Broncos, sorry. And 12-6 is the score. Levi Raymond converting that one. And you have to think, what would happen if that if they, that big hit off the ball didn't happen? The referee clearly playing advantage there. The 
they score or do they not the Broncos? The Warriors, they don't even want to think about that at the moment. As that error, I think they've learnt from their mistake. It's Justin Barisic. Going Simon Hunt now. He's brought down. That'll be the second. They go right. Jackson straightens up. Tackled 35 away from the line. As Simon Hunt gives it to Barisic. Great player, Justin Barisic, because there's going to be Isaac Edwards inside his own 40. He's going to go for the opposite touch line. I don't think he'll have the distance. No, it won't. Marcus Square getting back there. And he's dropped some weight, Marcus Square, as well as some height this week. He stopped putting lifts, lifts in his boot by the looks of it. Maybe that's why he's been so slow. Because that's going to be the second. They go right now. It's going to be McCartney. Gives it off to White. Put down the 40, that's the third. Going left. McCartney. That'll be the fourth. Giving it to Corcoran. Inside his own 40. He won't have as good of a strike as Isaac Edwards. And Joey Kelly on the kick return. Breaks a tackle. Steps around one. And just almost catches the Warriors offside. Not ready. Simon Hunt through the middle, one-on-one -on -one tackle from Snicko, bro. He's the only man that read that play. That's going to be Joey Kelly trying to get around. David Tiawa brings him down. That's the third. Now right, Raymond, Edwards, Hunt. Up through the middle. And held in too long in the tackle there. Snicko, bro, failing to get out of it. You'd have to take the two, and yes, they will. The Brisbane Broncos. And that is a shocking penalty to give away this stage in the game. In such a crucial moment. There you go. 14 to 6 is the score. As the Brisbane Broncos just extend their lead to 8 points here. Suncorp Stadium. They are just dancing the crowd at the moment. The Warriors need to click into gear soon. If they are to pull off a bit of a comeback. Now they've got eight whole points they have to catch up on. Joey Kelly fields that. Goes to Barisic. Maybe this reset of field position will serve them well. As they go right. Edwards goes to Daly. Brought down the tackle. He'll play it. They're going to go left. It's going to be Edwards. Now to Stoder. Playing well at the six, Isaac Edwards. And reportedly talked out of retiring as Joey Kelly steps to the line. Brought down the tackle. As that'll be the fourth. They go left now. Stoda. Driving forward. Fifth and last now as the Broncos will be forced to kick it. Down to Cooper Gronk on the kick return. He's just going to... Go up now. Cooper Gronk through the middle. He'll get a good run before he's brought down by Joey Kelly. And against his former club tonight. How's it going to go? Aaron White. Brought down. That's only the second. They go left now. Joe McCartney giving it to David Barner. Going up the guts. As that's the third. They need another big run here. And that is what the Warriors do best. But not through Yeager or Mokuzzi they don't. He'll bring them closer, but not quite close enough. As Patrick Corcoran will get him close enough. Corcoran, he was pinning for the line there, but he won't quite get there. Five meters away. Where's Hugh Snow? Where's your playmaker? They're going to go to John McCartney instead. He drops the ball, and Edwards gets a bit of space. Edwards dummies! And he'll be brought down by Jaden White and Chance Bunce. He was caught out there by Isaac Edwards. As they're going to go right, Aiden Lawrence. Up to the middle, and the Warriors just making... Bit of a dog's breakfast at that last opportunity to put points on the ball. Just Joey Kelly just straight up the guts. He's going to get a great run here before he's brought down by Chance Bunce. That's six again. But Isaac Edwards runs straight into touch. And the Warriors are off the hook. What was Isaac Edwards thinking?
Gonna get it. Patrick Corcoran. That's one. Move. He's held there. Going to White. Out to McCartney. Now to Bro. McCuzzy. Now he's going to break the line. Jaeger on McCuzzy gets the ball inside and it was just picked off by Simon Hunt. They're just not able to hold on to it at the moment, the Warriors. The Broncos play the ball. Stoda. We'll play on the seconds. They go left. Edwards. Now to Kelly. Out to Sharp. Steps one. Dylan Sharp down the sideline. Driven back. That's the third. Held down in the tackle and Chance Bunts gives away a penalty once more for this Auckland Warriors side. And they're just looking disastrous out there. They are looking just torn to bits at the moment. The Brisbane Broncos are looking very solid and clinical. While the Warriors are just scrambling for any shred of an up-handed advantage. And just keep on giving away opportunities instead. As Raymond goes to Stoder. He's going to push here. Felix Stoder, he'll score. And the Brisbane Broncos will extend their lead out to 12 with the kick to come. No question about that one. Snicko Bro, known slug in defense. And he fails to wrap around the legs there. Levi Raymond prepares this kick. 18 to 6 is the score. If he gets this one, it's 20 to 6. And they'll be up 14 points going into half time. About five minutes to go. Six minutes to go after this kick in this first half. And the Warriors need something special. They need something very special to pull off a last minute comeback here. Pull off what is near impossible. As McCartney kicks deep off the boot, he just puts it down towards Isaac Edwards. Dustin Barisic building it there. Raymond goes to Edwards, now to Lawrence. Felix Stoder brought down. They're going to go right. It's going to be Barisic, now to Lawrence. Edwards puts it inside his 40, I think. It's a good kick regardless. As Chance Bunce gets there, oh, I thought he was going to go into touch. No, he'll step, and he'll somehow stay in the field of play. A great bit of play from Chance Bunce, who's really been trying to lift his team here. As David Tiawa, driven back. Cooper Gronk getting a bit of a break. As Corcoran now going left, Snick Bro. Good run from him as that's the fourth. Now they go right. McCartney inside ball. Chance Bunce. Bunce for the line. Bunce tries to turn Kelly inside out. He'll be brought down 16 out from the try line. Can the Warriors put in a last minute try in the first half here? They go left. It's McCartney. He puts it along the ground, but Daly picks it up. And that is a great save from Justice Daly once more. As the Warriors are struggling to get any points on the board. They go left. Stoda. Oh, as a big error there. Patrick Corkin picks it up. The Warriors going to get another opportunity as Chance Bunce steps another. He has been great tonight as they go left. Jai McCartney. Now to McKinnon. He steps one. He can't get around, around Daly though. As Hunt helps him out in that tackle. They go right. It's going to be Snow. Now to McCartney. Gives it to Bunce. He's tackled there. It's Cyrus Marks with it. 
as White goes left to McCartney. He's going to go himself, but he'll be brought down just short of the line. They have about 40 seconds left here. Maybe one more tackle, maybe two, as Gronk's brought down. Last play here, last play of the half for the score. Can the Warriors do it before half time and close in on this lead? They go left, it's Snow, he drops the ball. It's going to be Hunt away. Simon Hunt's got space. He's going to go, and he'll be brought down. And the Brisbane Broncos will go into the sheds 20 to 6 at half time. We'll see you very shortly. Welcome back to SRL TV where the Brisbane Broncos are currently leading the Auckland Warriors 20 to 6 at Suncorp Stadium. There's a big second half ahead of us. And the Warriors they need a miracle to come back here because the Brisbane Broncos are red hot and 14 points is no small gap to uh, to close in on, especially when you're both trying to play for finals. It's Jackson Allison on the kick return, just monsters through the middle. And a few changes to the side at half time for the Warriors, as you will see. Sione Matus is back at locks. Nico Bros on at prop as Cyrus Marks just pops away. David Barnes at second row and Iksatoki in the centers. All four interchanges making their way on the field. There's only two changes for the Broncos. That's through Eddie Devon going on for Kiriakis Ilias and Ash Crutcher on for Josef Jackson. Justice Daly plays the ball. They go left. Simon Hunt puts a cross field to kick in. Goes down to Cooper Gronk. On the kick return, Cooper Gronk is going to get the front foot here, but Levi Raymond will chase him down. And that will be the first for the Warriors. As they need to start cooking up something in the middle. Start playing offense rather than a, a, a game plan pretty much based entirely on defense. If they're going to win here, it's Nico Bro with a good run. They go right, Hugh Snow. Now goes to Engo. Folded there by Jackson Allison. As he'll play the ball. They go left, Snicko Bro. Tackled. Fifth and last, where does he go? McCartney just putting it a stab in down to Dylan Sharp. He will not get very far though as Aaron White reels him in. That's going to be the first. And the Warriors really not doing much in attack that first half, but there was one man that really stood up for them. And that was Chance Bunce. There's an opportunity here arises off a forward pass, and Chance Bunce, he'll need to step up here. 219 run meters, six line breaks in that first half alone. The most run by any player actually doubled the highest amount by any other player on the field. A huge effort, a monumental effort from him. It's matter Oos through the middle. Can he get it done tonight at Lockie? Was good when he first moved there, but he hasn't been too hot since. As Ixotoki crosses the line! I don't know if that's his first. I don't think it is, but if it is... That is a very special try to put the Warriors back in here this game. There's still a chance. What an incredible try for Mixitoki. Brian McCartney, an important kicker to make it only eight points the difference. As he puts that one straight over in the middle. And 20 to 12 will be the score. And I think that may be Trunk Ixitoki's first try. I'm trying to find evidence to suggest otherwise, but yes, I think it may be. And it's a very important one. That's Daniel Lengo with the first run there. They need a good set after points, and that's not one way to start. It's Sione Matuus, flat-footed. They lose five metres in that tackle. As he's driven back by Levi Raymond. What are they doing, the Warriors? They need to be organised. There's David Barner. There's a bit of organisation. He throws it straight to Jackson Allison, who's now through the line. And they just can't string a set together, the Warriors. They really can't. And the Broncos are almost flawless in their attack. And that's just the difference tonight. You know, you need to score points to win games. 
Warriors clearly haven't got that memo yet. As Crutcher goes left to Allison. Stoda. Pushing forward, fifth and last. What can the Broncos do? They go right. It's going to be Edwards. Puts it up. A high ball. Who's underneath? It squares underneath. Can anyone outleap him? Yes, someone can, but it's going to be Raymond picking up the pieces at the back. It was Kelly doing the tap back, and the Warriors, they hold on. Just got to think, like, Jaden White, if he attacks that ball then, goes after it, he outruns Levi Raymond. And he just jets down the field. And then all of a sudden, it only took two points of difference. So, it's just not showing much drive in attack. They're not showing like they want it, the Warriors. Got to question where their hearts are at the moment. Because it's certainly not in this game, and certainly not in playing finals in the present. So go. McCartney puts a kick in. Goes down to Kelly. Tackled well. Aaron White. It's around the legs. Not a great kick though. As they're going to go. Stoda finds the ground but quickly jumped on by the rookie second rower. As they go. Edwards now to Allison. Being destructive through the middle tonight. As that's only the third. They go right. Edwards links up with Daly. Raymond goes right, Crutcher now to Stoda. That's going to be the fourth, fifth and last now, 32 gained. Edwards puts it back to Crutcher, puts a higher ball up. Still anyone's Cooper Gronk's underneath it though, and he'll take it comfortably. Cooper Gronk's got a bit of space now. Cooper Gronk's in front. Cooper Gronk's got no one but Kelly in front of him. As he's got numbers on the left, will he use a Marcus Squares there for the pass? But now he'll just hold on the ball and a good option from Cooper Gronk. As he makes a massive run down the field. 75 metres as Chance bunts through the middle, but there's numbers waiting for him. Levi Raymond and Simon Hunt combine. Bunts plays the ball. Going left. Barner through the middle. No, he won't be. There was a gap there, but it closed quickly. As that's only going to be the third. There you go. Snicko Bro shifts it to Square. Who pushes up to the 10 there. Couldn't get very far after the sidestep. As Trunk kicks a talk, he does the Jamison shuffle. But will be brought down. They're going to go to Jaden White. A high ball. Bunce is underneath it. Bunce is waiting for it. Oh, but Sharp will come and take it. And the Warriors. Unable to turn that blessing from Cooper Gronk into points there. And a penalty. There you go. After all that effort. Cooper Gronk will be very filthy with his team right now because after all that effort, that what he just went through, what he tried to set up for them, they throw it, they quite literally throw it away by just holding the player down and giving away a penalty. As Eddie Devon straight through a gap, gets an offload. And I said they based their game on defense, the Warriors tonight, but they haven't been doing a very good job of that either. As Joey Kelly's brought down. Snicko bro, good tackle there. They're going left. Eddie Devon spreads it to Allison. Pushing forward. The Broncos. They're on the front foot here. They go left. Stoda spreads it out to Sharp. Sharp's going to run for it. Tiawa can't hold him out. And too strong Dylan Sharp. And he will score just like that. The Brisbane Broncos... Further hardening their grip on finals. As the Warriors look like they're going to miss out. That is disappointing stuff from the Warriors tonight. It has been very disappointing. As Raymond misses the kick, and it's only going to be 12 points. A bit more manageable for the Warriors. Hopefully that one doesn't come to haunt Levi Raymond later. The Warriors, now's the time, fellas, to kick into gear. If you 
If you're going to do it, do it now. Otherwise, it will be too late. You've only got 25 minutes left of play. I need to lock in here. That's McCartney. Kicks it deep. Allison with the first hit up there. McCartney joins the tackle. After Engo engages and they just haven't had that pizzazz and attack apart from Chance Bunce. No one's really been doing much. Cooper Gronk and Chance Bunce probably the, the best players tonight for the Warriors. Their halves have been lackluster. Their kicking options, fifth tackle options have been pretty shocking if they even get to the fifth tackle. You know, it's just some of these players just don't seem like they're in it. Maybe it's the pressure getting to their heads, but this is the chance to bring your team some glory. Crutcher. Kick it deep. It's going to be landing in the, <laughs> in the pocket of Marcus Square, and he just he can't get anywhere. After, he doesn't even try and step. Snicko Bro. Driving forward, couldn't get very far either. Just going nowhere at the at the moment, the Warriors. Here, here's David Tiawa. He gets somewhere. It's John McCartney now through the line. He's got no one in front of him. John McCartney as Cyrus Marks closes in. He'll break the tackle, but he'll be taken down by Ash Crutcher. Now there's something in the Warriors. As Jai McCartney gets an offload from Tiawa, a great combination on the right side. They're looking a little bit more energetic as Barna driving forward. Has to be taken down by Arki. They go right. It's going to be Hugh Snow giving it to Chance Bunt. He steps one. He gets the pass to McCartney though. The vice captain brought down just short. Fifth and last. Where's Hugh Snow? They're going to go to Matter Ooze. It's going to be Snick O'Bro! Snick O'Bro will score! And in maybe his potential last game as a warrior, he will score a try to try and make it not so. A great kick from Matter Ooze that close to the line. And Snick O'Bro crosses for his, I think, second of the season. As the Warriors will only be down by six. Jai McCartney hurrying up this kick. As you know, he hasn't got a whole lot of time and just puts that one straight over. Doesn't want to waste any seconds and clever stuff from the experienced player. Like a season two debutant. For the, uh, for the Rabbitohs, I believe. Bit of, bit of a throwback there. By McCartney in his Rabbitohs days. It's 24 to 18. The Warriors need a strong set here. Snick O'Bro charging it up. The substitutes will be coming on momentarily. Lachlan McKinnon. I think Logan Strange as well. Can they get something done? Oh, is Marcus Square very close to the sideline? Oh, and he's going to go into touch. That's an interesting call. But what were the Warriors thinking? Going that close to the sideline on the second tackle on their line, in their end. They're going to need something special here. As the Broncos, they'll be looking to reclaim that 12-point lead. They go left. It's going to be Joseph Jackson going right. Crutcher. Good offload from Joseph, but he can't get very far. As they're going to go left. Simon Hunt now. Driven back. As they're going to go. Kyriakos Ilias. I don't think he was intended to get the ball, but he does receive it regardless. That's the fourth. They're going to go left. It's going to be a tackle by Matouus on Jackson. That's the fifth and last. As Edwards just runs it on the last and the Warriors are ready for it. And it will be a handover. Great defense from the Warriors and a bit of resilience. As Jai McCartney just straight through the line, getting a great deal of meters. And... Maybe he's heard me in the commentary box because now he's turning it up and he wants this win. And no one is a more passionate person, a more deserving leader than Jai McCartney. 
himself and Sean Spons have done a great job this season. As McKinnon plays the ball, going right now. It's going to be Matous pushing forward through the middle. Here come the Warriors as they encroach on this position. It's going to be Jaden White. Great, great little play from dummy half. Is fifth and last now. Chance bunts. He'll be acting half. They're going to go out to the left. It's going to be Hugh Snow. Who's there? No one's there. And Justice Daly will pick it up. Brought down by David Barnum. I think it was supposed to be Bunce coming through. But Snow just not realizing he was playing acting dummy. As it will be an intercept. No, it won't be. It'll be a zero tackle. That's an interesting call. It looked like the Warriors player was facing his own line. But that will be only the first. As the Broncos get lucky there. They go left. It's going to be Stoda. Driving the ball. Cyrus Marks goes right. Raymond now to a crutcher. Brought down by Strange, who's back on the field. Don't hold down Strange, Logan, please. As they go left. Simon Hunt. They go to Stoda. Around the legs is Lachlan McKinnon. No, he won't join. They'll just watch as Tiawa brings him down. They go left. Out to Joey Kelly, who can't get around Aaron White. He's really been good in defense tonight on the edge. A confusing pick from... New South Wales not to put him in the side, but now he's no longer eligible. Marcus Square on the kick return. Marcus Square, he's got no one in front of him. But Ash Crutcher will somehow chase him down. And that will be the first. Joey Kelly had to come way across the field for that one. And I dare say if Crutcher's not there, Marcus Square goes into the corner. As Daniel Engo tries to push through the middle. That'll be the third. Going left. Barna. Now the fourth. Iksitoki. Gives it right. Logan Strange. Through a gap. Logan Strange. But he won't get too far. Joseph Jackson brings him down. Maybe too long in the tackle. No. Just long enough apparently. Referee reluctant to give any penalties away. And who's going to take this one? It's going to be... Who's there? It's going to be John McCartney. I think he scored not. What? How is that not a try? The referee has pulled off an absolute blunder with not calling that on the try. Unless he was on his back there, John McCartney, but it looked like he got the ball down. As that's the third. There needs to be a... Uh, they have a good look at that one. In the post-match review is Isaac Edwards on the kick. He won't get very far. Chance bunt. He's going to slice through. And the Warriors will start their set on the 40. A terrible kick from Isaac Edwards. Joe McCartney. Looking to dummy, but he won't get it off. As they're just going to go. David Tiawa off. Forward. Okay. From Jaden White. That did not look forward at all. They're going to go out to the wing. Dylan Sharp. Someone take him into touch. No. As he's going to step chance bunts, Isaac Edward, Aaron White, sorry, bringing him down. Still play the ball. Cyrus Marks goes to Edwards, links up with Raymond. That's the second. The clock just ticking down here. The Warriors. Their finals chances dwindling before their eyes as that's the third. They'll go left now. It's going to be Justice Daly. That's the fourth. As they go right, Crutcher inside ball. Joey Kelly, well tackled by Barna. Levi Rowan goes left. Jackson Ellison spreads it out to Tiawa. Great tackle from Tiawa. Spreads out to Edwards, sorry, and Tiawa. That is a great tackle. And the Warriors hold on for one more set. McKinnon with the first one. They need to go end to end here. The Auckland Warriors. As David Barner. Can't get a line break. Let him go. The Broncos will be careful not to give any penalties away. As it's going to be Daniel Engo here. He's going to get an offload to Hugh Snow. Who will be held down in the tackle. As long as he's allowed to be. As it's going to be Daniel Engo. Cheeky little pass from Ixitoki. Didn't want to run out the forwards. Looking at the big fellas in the middle. And he thought... That's not for me, thank you very much. Here you go, Daniel. Fifth and last now. 30 out from the try line. They can't get many meters in this set. The, the Warriors ooh, was almost giving away a penalty, Hugh Snow. 
Nick Satoki step, but Hugh Snow, great tackle. That will be the first. The Warriors have less than seven minutes left to get onto the board one more time. And one of these teams only has less than seven minutes left. Probably, well, yeah. Less than six, seven minutes left. Eh, less than six minutes left now of SRL be left for season seven. As Tiawa gets up quickly. As soon as the referee sells him to, as Allison down the wing. They couldn't get very far past the halfway. That's good defense from the Warriors. They're tired at this stage. They put everything on the line. They need something special. They need something special. Who's going to be the special person? Chance Bunce on the kick return. Steps one but can't get away from Cyrus Marks. They'll have to go 90 meters here, the Warriors, if they want to score. If they go left, Cooper Gronk. It's going to be a massive run from Cooper Gronk. No one's in front of him. Cooper Gronk for the line. Joey Kelly's coming across, but no one's, no one's coming along and helping him. Cooper Gronk inside ball. Daniel Lengo goes to Hugh Snow. That's the second. Gronk had nothing left in the tank, and I don't blame him. He's going to go through the middle. They got a chance bounce now to Aaron White. Aaron White for the line. He'll get an offload to McCartney. The Warriors... Desperate here, the Broncos defense more desperate as it's going to be Engo. Gets an offload to Strange. Logan Strange for the line. Logan Strange will score. And the Warriors great. May have just scored the try to put the Warriors in the final. The legendary Logan Strange coming out of retirement. You can't make this up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is incredible rugby league. As Strange just putting it down under the post, McCartney will get this kick. As four minutes will remain. Next point wins as we get into field goal territory here. The Broncos have let this lead go and the Warriors have pulled an all-time comeback. <laughs> As Raymond kicks off here, chance bunts. They need to be conservative here with Lachlan McKinnon, the first hit up. That'll be the first. They're going to go McCartney. Now to Aaron White. He'll be driven back. A great tackle from Cyrus Marks. He's been very good in defense tonight, Cyrus. He has just thwarted all their opportunities. As Chance Bunce gets a good run through the middle after he steps one. That's the third. McCartney's got a range of about 35 meters. If they can get within that, he may be able to slot this. That's the fourth. They need one more big run. Who's going to be? They go left. It's going to be strange. He wants to go through the middle. McCartney may be able to slot it, but I don't know. It's going to be from 50 if he does. Where's Snow? Can he kick it? They're going to go. Hugh Snow, he'll just go for the punt, actually. As Dylan Sharp will go for a big run here. But he will be brought down by chance bunts. Two minutes remaining. That's the first. The Broncos have one set to try and get down the field and put a goal in. As it's going to be Joseph Jackson through the middle. That's Jaden White. Great tackle. That's the second. They're going to go left. Stoda. Tackled by McKinnon. Helped out by Tiawa. That's the third. They're going to go left. Yosef Jackson. Driven back there. That's the fourth. One minute left here. Two tackles left for the Broncos. As they go right, it's going to be Kyriakis Ilias. I think they're out of another range here. I don't think Raymond's going to be able to kick it. He's at half anyway. Who's there? Edwards definitely can't kick it from 40. Not from that angle, as Kronk. Kronk, sorry. On the kick return, Kronk. I thought he was going to step Joey Kelly then. As that's the first. They go right. It's going to be Joe McCartney. That's the second, and we're going to go to Golden Point here. As the Brisbane Broncos and the Warriors will go to Golden Point. We'll see you very shortly. Welcome back to SRL TV. The golden point, my, my friends. 
24 all. All or nothing. Finals or not. One more game or not. Joey Kelly, swan song Bron <laughs> for the Broncos. The Warriors, the first finals appearance for them since season four. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, as McKinnon takes the first run. They go left. It's going to be Engo. He'll just run it. They need a big set to get in McCartney's range. Snow's got a good range on him as well. But I think it has to be the one and only Jai McCartney. As they're going to go, Logan Strange. They're just driven back. The Broncos' defense relentless. Don't go for the 40-20, surely. Hugh Snow's going to try and get it. Hugh Snow's going to have a massive kick inside his 40. But Joey Kelly will get there, I think. Yes, he will. And that is a game-saving effort from Joey Kelly. Tired, fatigued. And he still gets back. They go left. Crutcher. Now to Ilias. That's only the second. The Broncos trying to get within Crutcher's range. He's going to be the man, I think. Edwards probably won't be able to kick it. As he'll be brought down. That's the third. McKinnon. A good tackle. They go right. Now it goes to Joseph Jackson. Brought down by Strange and White. That's the fourth. They go right. Logan, sorry, Jackson Allison. Breaks the tackle. Jackson Allison inside ball. Levi Raymond. They're within range here. They're within range. You can see Levi, Isaac Edwards. No, it's going to go to Kyriakis Elias. He gets in the way. And the Broncos hold on. You could see Isaac Edwards preparing himself for the kick. But he just didn't. He didn't get the ball and Ilias gets in the way. And you'd hope for his sake that that doesn't cost them the season, the Broncos. As Hugh Snow goes to Barna. Defense putting everything on the line. Their bodies, their souls. Their very selves on the line from both teams. Tiawa unable to penetrate. The Broncos' defense is going to be Jai McCartney. Goes to Engo. They can't get anywhere. They've got no traction, the Warriors. They'll need to punt it once more. As they're going to go left, McCartney puts a cross fielder in. It's going to be Justin Plays on the kick return, but Ixatoki brings him down. That's the first. They go left. It's going to be Allison. Through the middle, Jackson Allison. He'll get it to the 40. As that'll be the second. They're getting within range here. They go left. Crutcher goes to Ilias. That'll be the third. Are they going to take the kick? It's going to go out to Crutcher. He won't. He'll just want to get closer. Justice Daly. That's the fourth. They're within range now. Will they go for it? Yosef Jackson. No, they'll go to Ilias once more. As Crutcher's set up there on the left. They've got Edwards on further. It's going to be Crutcher. Ash Crutcher will score. He will kick the field goal and the Broncos will play finals. The Brisbane Broncos pulling off an all-time win. And the Auckland Warriors will miss out on finals. 25 to 24. What an incredible match to end off the season for both teams. As we look at the stats here, Aiden Lawrence, Stoda, Sharp and Daly for the Broncos. And Bro, Strange, Ixitoki and McKinnon for the Warriors. All conversions made and Ash Crutcher is kicking the field goal. And you know, the Broncos, they obviously let a big lead go. But in the end, they did kick that field goal and they uh, a big effort to do that. And just look at the areas from the Warriors. They were never... They, they really just couldn't get into it. No, they had 13 errors. Wow. Got a lot more missed tackles though, the Broncos. A lot more line, and just a couple more line breaks for the Warriors. Look at the individual stats. The Raymond 29 at Cooker. Jackson Allison, 206 run meters, eight line breaks, a tackle break, a big game from him. Stowe 198, big game from him, no line breaks either. He's got a try assist and a try. Hunt, 175. Kelly, 175. Sharp, 123. Isaac Edwards, 110. Some big efforts all across the park from the Broncos. And their forward pack were just amazing tonight. And that's what got them over the line in the end as the Warriors 
Cooper Gronk, 326 run meters, seven line breaks. Incredible. Incredible from a winger. Chance bunts, 320, 302, sorry. Seven line breaks as well. Big game from him. McCartney, almost 200 run meters, three line breaks. White, big game from him at hooker. Engo, 120. Corcoran, Barna. That's where it starts to drop off, isn't it? The Ford pack. They really didn't do much tonight, and I don't know why. I don't know what possessed the Warriors to change, to, you know, reformat, to reinvent the wheel on a winning side. They did in the costume tonight. By one point, the Broncos will play finals. The Warriors will not. That is surely, for sure, a, a big shame. It will be the Brisbane Broncos going on to play finals footy. Sneaking into the eight. The Warriors missing out by just a little bit. Well, I believe. It does depend on, I think, a couple more results. But I think more than likely... Their chances are very slim. Very, very slim. That's all we have time for tonight. Thank you very much for joining me in the commentary box. I've been your Commissioner Will K in this terrific game. And it's been a pleasure having you tonight. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you stick around because we've got two more games to decide who's going to make the eight and who will not. On. Stay, stay tuned. Live and free. More. It's a real action.